Hi everybody, this is Miss Patty again. The last and final step of our volcano journey together, we're going to make this volcano erupt. Very quickly, I'm going to show you that I painted my paper mache volcano. It's got uh, blue all around it and I use different colors, black and red and brown, just to make it look a little more realistic. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my eruption fluid. So, my recipe says I need 10 mils of dish soap. So, <coughs> that's about a, a te two teaspoons, two teaspoons of dish soap. One, two. Right. So I'm going to prepare this fluid in this bowl and pour it into my volcano first and then I'm going to add the active ingredient that's going to make it erupt. Now I need 100 mils of cold water. And that's about it, just a little less. There we go. All right. Dish soap is done. Next, I need 400 mils of vinegar. 400 mils of vinegar. So that's going to be 200 and 200 more. 400 mils of white. that away. All right, the next thing I need is I need to make it look realistic, of course, so we're going to use red food coloring. And I'm going to put in about five drops. I need a mixer, so I'm just going to mix this all up in the bowl. Make sure you have a bowl that you can pour easily out of. So this little mixture is going to go into the volcano. First I need a funnel. Let's just move everything over here. Get this volcano nice and centered. And let's just pour this liquid straight into the volcano, into the bottle I have inside. Excellent. Okay, the last bit of this recipe, <coughs> which I found on funzonekids.com. I'm going to take some Arm & Hammer baking soda. I need about half a cup. So half a cup of baking soda. This is called a baking soda slurry. So it's basically just water and baking soda. So I'm going to add water to make this one cup of solution. And there is my slurry. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, I, you can see that baking soda is a very active solution. You can see it's already bubbling a little bit. So we're just going to mix this until the water and the soda are thoroughly combined. <coughs> and then we're going to see some magic. How did all your volcanoes turn out? Well, even if you didn't get to make your own, you'll get to see, you got to see how this one was put together, and you're going to see how it erupts now. All right, I'm going to stand back because it's going to be messy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it in to the funnel. 
just fix the camera here and watch carefully and see what happens. Whoa! Oh! Look at that! And there you have it, your homemade volcano, and it's going to keep going and going. Let's get a close up. It's still coming out. <laughs> Well, that's all I have for you now today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little science experiment. What if I pour some more in there? There we go. Okay, everybody. Uh, I miss you all. And I'll say goodbye for now from Miss Patty. Have yourself a wonderful day.